Hello, I'm Mark Chalero, the owner of MS Classic Cars. Today, I'm sitting behind the wheel of an absolutely beautiful and truly authentic 1969 Chevrolet Camaro RS Z28 that I have deemed the real deal. This car has been certified by Camaro expert Jerry McNeish of Camaro High Performance. So what I wanted to do is first mention in this video, this is a non-rehearsed video. There's gonna be a lot of information that I forget to cover about this particular car. It's super important that if you're looking at this car, A, for educational aspects, or B, to purchase it, uh, that you do check out our description with all of our photos on our website at msclassiccars.com. Uh, again, I might forget uh, things here that you might find within my description, so please make sure to do so. If you have been following MS Classic Cars or you haven't been following us, uh, we only collect number one and number two condition vehicles. We have built our reputation around quality, presentation, and customer satisfaction. We stand behind all the cars we sell. We're the only classic car dealership in the country who services every vehicle we sell. We document the work we do with an invoice, which is included in this binder, which I will go over in a minute. Of the 700 cars or more that we've sold over the years that we're very proud of, uh, the car that I probably have the most experience with are first-generation Camaros. Uh, I've been fortunate to become very good friends with Camaro expert Jerry McNeish of Camaro High Performance. He is the expert and the authority in the field. He's written multiple books. He's one of the American Camaro Association uh, top judges. He also is a judge for the Legends. Uh, for anybody that doesn't know what Legends is, when you uh, get invited to that show, your car has to be at a very high level, not only in the quality of the restoration, but how correct it is. From the information that I gathered, about 269 Camaros have qualified for Legends, but only 29 have actually achieved the Legend Award. Uh, we at MS Classic Cars have owned four of those 29 cars. So again, I've had some spectacular Camaros, over the years, uh, I think I've had probably 25 or 30 69 Z28s. Uh, one of our cars to speak of is actually on the homepage of Jerry McNeish's website. Uh, it was a world record that we had set a few years ago at Barrett Jackson in Scottsdale, Arizona. Um, so again, I'm a good judge of character when it comes time for these cars. So I've made a little sheet here. Uh, I'm going to kind of go down the list here. I'm going to touch base on everything that I made a list of, just not to get, uh, you know, d discombobulated and confused throughout the video. So what I want to do first and foremost is say, uh, when you're buying a investment car, especially a factory correct car, you want to go through a series of checks with some boxes, and this car actually checks all of the boxes. Um, so when I'm talking about that, I'm talking about original documentation, 
original color combination, original motor, original transmission, original rear end, original parts, and you wanna, of course, have it certified by an expert. This car checks off, again, all of those boxes. So please uh, pay close attention to what I have to say here because it's super, super important. The first thing I'm gonna go over with this particular car is this car has its original window sticker. We will slide in some photos during this video so you can see this information a little bit clearer, but this is the window sticker. Uh, to give you an example of how hard it is to find an original window sticker with a 69 Camaro, of all the cars I've ever owned, I probably have had one or two cars that actually had the original window sticker. This is worth its weight in gold. Why? Because you clearly know what the vehicle was born with. Unfortunately, uh, as Jerry indicates in his book and has taught me over the years, so many of these cars, so many, I bet you the percentage is 50, 60% are fraudulently made. People are removing VIN tags off one car onto another car. They're reproducing the cowl tags that go on the cowl, the trim tag. Uh, people are re-stamping engine blocks. They're re-stamping transmissions. They're uh, just doing things, creating fake paperwork. You can buy fake build sheets. You can have window stickers reproduced. All these kind of things. So, when I'm looking for a car, especially an authentic car, I want it to be certified by an expert because I am clearly not an expert. I am not a judge. And when I found this particular car, the first thing that jumped out to me was this car had the original window sticker, which Jerry McNeish looked at when he did his certification report. And this is key. So this particular car here was actually sold new at Daniels Motors. Uh, this was in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Um, I actually have the date, which I'll review in a minute, of when it was sold. That's more information that I'm going to go over here with you in a second. But as I'm going to go down the list here uh, of options that this particular car had, I'm just going to read it from top to bottom. Uh, it had the headrests in, on the seats. It had the vinyl roof, which is a parchment roof. Uh, this is a very, very rare color combination of fathom green with white stripes, with a midnight green interior with a parchment uh, hardtop. Jerry uh, mentioned this is a rare color combination in his report. And again, I don't think I've ever seen one in all of my years that has this color combination, very unique. We actually had a 70 Chevelle that we sold at Barrett Jackson uh, in 2020 that was fathom green and it had this green interior. Uh, it was a great color combination. The car did very well, but this car having the white with the white is really cool. Uh, now getting into the rest of this, this car does have a center console, which is a great uh, option. This car has posi traction uh, with 373 gear ratio. It has power front uh, uh, disc brakes. It has a close ratio four speed transmission. It has special instrumentation, AM push button radio, manual rear antenna. It also has the special front bumper. You will recognize that uh, the bumper is unique on this. It's called an Endura bumper. That's what people refer to it as. It's color keyed to the car. It looks super sharp, a little bit of ahead of its time in 1969. Very hard to find a car that was originally uh, born with that. It also has the Rally Sport equipment. Uh, obviously RS stands for Rally Sport. Again, when you're looking at these cars, a lot of the times the Rally Sport option is added during the restoration. Uh, a lot of times these cars were not born Rally Sports. Uh, the car that I was actually referring to that's on Jerry Magnish's website, uh, the silver car that we sold at Barrett Jackson that still holds the world record, that car actually had the Rally Sport package added during the restoration. I was very clear and transparent with that in my description with Barrett Jackson, so the buyer clearly knew that. Uh, but this car actually was born a true Rally Sport. Uh, when you go on Haggerty and you look at evaluations and so forth, you'll see there's a big bump for the Rally Sport because it is rare. Looking at the rest of this here, um, this car has the special interior group, special performance equipment, again, Z28, and a, as I mentioned earlier, midnight green interior with a fathom green exterior. So here it is, the original window sticker. Moving on 
to more documentation. This car also has, which I thought was super cool, the original stock tag, which is pictured right here. Again, you can see it within our listing. This is the stock tag that the dealership would have put on the car when they were selling it. It clearly is included here. I just have never seen anything like this before, so that was really cool as well. Second thing is, or third thing rather, is the uh, protector plate. This is another item that people make. You can, you can make these. Uh, you can make them for display purposes at car shows, just to have information that you want to create that didn't exist. But these were actually handed out to the customers. This was based on their warranty. Uh, as it says here, new warranty and owner protection plan. People refer to them as protector plates. This is authentic. Again, it's uh, written on Jerry's uh, report there, warranty invoices, et cetera. This is basically original and this is authentic and it clearly shows who the customer was who ordered this car new. It tells exactly when the car was made uh, or when it was sold rather and it has the VIN number on here as well. So this protector plate is rare to find when especially one that's original. So again, that is included with this particular car. Um, talking about that, because I will touch base on that quick, this car does have a lot of ownership history, which I'll get into in a minute. But what I wanted to do is reference my notes here. The car was sold January 3rd of 1969, again from Daniel Motors in Colorado Springs, Colorado. So that's what the protector plate indicates. The next thing here, um, is the original owner's manual. This is an original owner's manual with the car. It appears to have its original bag that the owner's manual came in. I clearly don't know if this is the original owner's manual that came with the car. So I'm not gonna go on record and say that. I'm just gonna say it's an original owner's manual. So that is included. I'll put that back in this binder here that I've made. Actually, I'll just put it on the front seat for now. Um, getting back to some more information here. The original warranty invoices from 1969 are included. I've never seen this before. So again, we'll bring in some of these pictures throughout this video so you can see them better than what you can in this binder. Again, I've organized everything very nice and neat, but this shows Daniel Motors, again, the selling dealer, the customer's name who's on the protector plate matches this information here. It shows that this car came in for a warranty repair. Um, it shows the delivery date on this, which matches this protector plate. Same thing with this invoice here. So we have two original invoices, both from 1969. Very, very cool. Next bit of information. This car has oil change stickers. Um, this is something I've never seen before. Uh, the car during its ownership history which I've put in order in this envelope. We can bring in the picture again in this video to show all of these. There's 21 of these oil change receipts that have mileage from different companies over the years from 1970 all the way to 2004. Think about that. These are the stickers that you would put on the driver's door jam. They'd peel them off, put another sticker on and so forth to keep track. That's what they used to do back in the day. All of these are included with the sale. I've never seen anything like it. Another great piece of documentation that not only shows the oil change history, but it also documents the miles. Now this car currently now has over 100,000 miles on it, just a, a click over. Uh, so I'm not gonna be uh, going on record and saying this is a super low mileage car or anything, but it clearly shows the history of the car. Getting into the next thing here. Um, this car has original registration paperwork from 1982 and from 1991. So again, anytime you can show ownership history in its original paperwork, that's key. Uh, so again, I'll flip to these pages here. This is the one from 1982. There's three or four different pieces of registration paperwork. There's also paperwork here from 1994. Again, you can check all of this out. Really cool information. The next thing here is the appraisal. This vehicle was appraised in 1991. That appraisal is also included. It's the original appraisal. Again, we're talking about history here and documentation to support various things. To get into the car a little bit, this particular car is a very, very authentic original car 
that was lightly restored. This is not a full-blown rotisserie restoration where the whole entire car came apart. It was stripped to a shell. They replaced quarters and inner wheelhouses and, and inner fenders, which is totally fine when you're doing restorations. We have cars all the time that went through that type of extensive restoration. This particular car is not that car. This was a very, very, very original car that was just lightly restored throughout the years. So here's proof in the pudding. It shows here uh, that this appraiser, uh, who was a licensed appraiser in uh, 1991, uh, at the time when the car was in Maine, he had it appraised. It shows the VIN number. It shows that it was a rally sport. What it says over here, there's boxes to check off. Original, restored, or partially restored. It was checked off as original. It says here, body, excellent. Chassis, excellent. Engine, good. Tires, excellent. Paint, good. Chrome, good. Floorboards, excellent. Glass, excellent. Interior, excellent. Trunk, excellent. The car got a great appraisal. It even shows the uh, motor. Comments, excellent original car. Where do you find documentation from 1991 that states that? Uh, very, very cool. Now, getting into uh, the uh, other pieces of information that are included here, we do have bill of sales from various owners that are included. Some are original, some are copies. We also have titles, pictures of some titles that are, again, these are copies that from people who you know own the car over the years. Now, remember I had said earlier uh, that I would touch base on the ownership history of this car. The gentleman that I actually bought the car from who had it for quite some time, he actually went through everything and he made a list of all the things that were done to this car, including the oil changes, sticker by sticker by sticker. And it clearly shows the entire history of the car up until he purchased the vehicle. Obviously, I'm the next person after him. But this, again, clearly shows everything that was done uh, to the car. And there's even more information here regarding the ownership history from the first guy uh, to the 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th. It gives uh, dates, it gives uh, addresses, it gives some phone numbers, it gives mileage. I mean, you can clearly see this vehicle is fully documented with ownership history, which again, you don't find a lot with classic cars. So I, I found that all of this was a huge plus when I was looking at purchasing this car. Moving on, uh, this vehicle does have the original Vintag and it has the original cowl tag. As I mentioned earlier, uh, you would be shocked how many of these things are fraudulently made. These are original to the vehicle, very important. As I mentioned earlier, this is an authentic Rally Sport RS Z28. Um, it also, as I mentioned earlier, has the special front bumper. We refer to it as the Endura, so that's rare. As I mentioned earlier, it does retain its original rare color combination. Um, now, something else I'm gonna to touch base on. This is really the icing on the cake with this car. When you find these vehicles, the odds are very slim that the engines are truly original to the vehicle. Again, a lot of people restamp blocks. They go out and they find the right block. Uh, they, they, they grind the pads. Uh, sometimes you can see certain brooch marks in certain vehicles and they stamp the engines and so forth uh, to make them appear as if they were original to the car when they're clearly not. This engine is original to this car. Again, it was verified by Jerry McNeish. Also, the transmissions, same story with the motor. A lot of times uh, we buy cars all the time that have the original motor, but they don't have the original transmission, very common. This particular car has the original transmission. Again, it's a four speed uh, close ratio. We also have cars all the time that don't have the original rear ends. This car does. So this car has all of its original drivetrain. Very, very hard to find a car that comes to mind that just recently sold on Bring a Trailer. I think it sold for like $171,000 recently. That car was coincidentally Fathom Green. It had white stripes, it had a black and white interior, but that car, which was certified by Jerry McNeish as well, that car had the original motor transmission and rear end, which I thought made it very special. Obviously this car is loaded with documentation and it has the Rally Sport. So uh, I think this car is even more special, just my opinion. Um, so again, this is a really, really unique piece. Summing up uh, the things I wanted to cover with this car, 
Um, now, again, getting into the restoration, which I'll touch base on just when I do my quick little presentation. Um, this car was also featured in the October 2000 magazine called Camaro World. And I'll bring that, that, that picture into this video so you can see that. And what the magazine indicated is it won a gold award uh, in the 1969 Trailer Restored class. Um, that award is not included. I don't know where it went over the years of ownership, um, but I do have it documented in the magazine. That magazine is included with the car. So that is proof in the pudding is that. To seal the deal here, um, MS Classic Cars, as I said earlier in the conversation, we service every vehicle that we sell. We document that work with an invoice. We do very high-end detail work. We invested a total, you ready for this? $27,391.97 into this car that you see here today, making it as beautiful as we could, not only uh, cosmetically, but we also wanted to make it drive and perform very well. We are going to be doing a driving video of this car, so make sure that you watch that. I'm also going to do a very quick exterior walk around of this car. Um, so what we'll do is we'll tie that into this video and then you can check that out. So what I'd like to do right now is a very quick exterior presentation of our beautiful 69 Chevrolet Camaro RS Z28. Um, as I've stated, this car was born a rally sport. Uh, the first thing I'd like to comment on is how great the body lines are on this car. Uh, although this car was painted uh, years back, the paint job presents itself absolutely beautifully and it's virtually flawless. So why don't we come a little closer here and we'll start with the front of the car. So being your eyes, looking at this, trying to find anything that's not brilliant. And again, I don't see any orange peel. I see no blemishes in this hood whatsoever. Um, there's nothing, not even the slightest little chip in this hood. And again, I got to blow off a little bit of dust to make sure it looks like maybe there might be something there. That's the size of a pin tip. Uh, again, flawless hood. Looking at the gaps in the hood, you see how nice these gaps are. It sits pretty flush with the cowl. The stripes align nice. They're buried in the clear coat so you can't even feel them. Uh, again, these body lines are beautiful. There is a little tiny imperfection under the paint here. Again, very hard to notice unless you look at the car under the right light at the right angle. You'll notice on a lot of these RS Camaros, uh, the body work in here is not good. Uh, this particular car's got great gaps. The headlights open and close beautifully. This Endura bumper sits in here nicely. There's no imperfections in anything in here to mention. Again, beautiful body gaps here. Headlights fit beautifully. Uh, it's got that nice spoiler on the bottom. I don't see any chips in this bumper, any imperfections. Again, I would describe the exterior front end of this car as, as clean as you will ever find. I mean, if you really, really want to get picky and you, again, catch the, a certain angle with a certain light, you can see a fish eye in the clear coat here or there, maybe one or two. You probably can't pick them up in the camera, but again, I am being super, super fussy. Somebody could probably wet sand a few of those if that really made a difference to them. Uh, making our way over to the top of the driver's fender. I don't see any imperfections here. I don't see any on the side here. The emblems are beautiful. This trim is beautiful. As I mentioned, the wheels have been refinished. We replaced these tires. These are the correct style Goodyear Wide Tread GT 15 inch bias ply tires. Making our way over to the end of the fender here. No imperfections, no dings, no dents, no scratches. Looks beautiful. Over here on the door, again, I have to touch it because some of this is dust. The mirror's in beautiful condition. The door's in beautiful shape. I don't see anything here to speak of. No chips, no scratches, no dings. 
Door handles are beautiful. This door, by the way, opens and closes. Be look at this. I mean, it, it, one more time. If you've owned these cars, you understand that's not an easy task to have a door open and close that easy on a 69 Camaro. Look at these gaps. Look at this. Beautiful body gaps. We think this car is so well gapped because the sheet metal was all original. Um, again, rear quarter, I, I don't see any imperfections, not even the slightest imperfection. Super straight when you look down the side of the car, it's super, super straight. Beautiful quarters, beautiful fender trim. All of these side marker lights are beautiful. The back bumper is in beautiful condition. Making our way over to the deck lid here. Again, the stripes are buried. I don't see one imperfection. And again, I'm searching for the tiniest, tiniest little things. The stainless back here is exceptional. It's nicer stainless than on the front of the car. So I would imagine that this was probably replaced or highly restored at some point. The glass is original. It has the stamp on it. It does have very, very light scratches in the glass, which would indicate to me that that's obviously not replacement glass. Um, again, the spoiler, the back, the bumper, the bumper guards, the emblems in beautiful condition. The rear antenna, this car was originally built with the rear antenna. As I mentioned, based on the original window sticker that we have for the car, looking at the passenger rear quarter, flawless. I don't see any chips, scratches, dinks, anything. Fender trim is in beautiful shape. Again, brand new tires. The parchment vinyl top is beautiful. The fit and finish of all this is super nice. Again, I don't see anything at all worth mentioning here. There might be a tiny little imperfection here on the fin. Again, I'm nitpicking. Look at these door gaps again. Look at this. Watch this. Look, look at this. It just opens and closes absolutely beautifully. Door handles are awesome. No dings, no dents. Making my way down the passenger door now. Again, look at these gaps. Super nice gaps. Making our way over to the passenger fender. I don't see anything worth mentioning in the fender. I don't see anything at all in the middle section. Again, Rally Sport emblems. Down at the bottom here is flawless. Looking at the side, everything is in beautiful condition. Again, right down to the bottom. I, I don't even see one chip on this car. Other than what I already mentioned, maybe a couple of little fish eyes here or there that are under the clear coat that could easily be wet sanded if somebody really cared enough to, but this car is in beautiful condition. Thanks for watching. Now, going over the exterior, um, the first thing I wanna say about the exterior, the exterior of this vehicle is in absolutely beautiful condition. Uh, as the video just showed, uh, it's spectacular. From the information that I've gathered, most of the sheet metal on this car is original. Uh, the hood, which was changed many years ago as documented with the owner history, originally this car had a flat hood. A lot of people like the cowl hood better, so during the time the car was repainted, they changed uh, the hood, gave it a little bit more of a sexier look, if you will. This car also did not have a spoiler on the back, so they changed the deck lid and put a spoiler on the car, again, to give it a little bit more of a sexy look. Um, so both of those items obviously are not original to the car, but from everything that we've gathered and we've learned about it, uh, all of the sheet metal in this car is original. I cannot guarantee that. I'm just, it's believed to be. Uh, the doors open and close beautifully. It's got great gap lines. Again, a lot of the stuff I pointed out during the video. As I also pointed out in the walk around video, the paint on this car is spectacular. This car looks like it was painted a year ago. It's obviously been extremely well maintained. We detailed it to a very high level at MS Classic Cars. It looks spectacular. Talking about the bright work, the bright work all appears to be original. They did a nice job restoring it. I'm not gonna say it's perfect, but they did a nice job with it. All of the glass is stamped. 
all the glass is in beautiful condition. Um, I will say that the windshield does have a couple of imperfections, again, that I pointed out in the video, but it is in really, really, really nice condition. And uh, again, it's very correct. Getting into the wheels, um, we did uh, uh, find on the notes here from past ownership history that these wheels were restored years ago, uh, sanded, painted, and so forth. And at MS Classic Cars, part of that service bill, I spent almost $2,000. Uh, we bought a lot of our parts from Heartbeat City, so I'll give them a shout out for all the help that they did with us. They're a great uh, company. They sell a lot of uh, you know OEM, NOS, correct parts and so forth, reproduction parts, whatever you want. Um, they actually uh, did most of the parts with this car, um, but these wheels uh, and tires obviously were restored. The tires were replaced. They're brand spanking new 15 inch uh, Goodyear tires. We went with the correct tire as the car should have. Now, getting into uh, the interior. When we purchased this vehicle, um, I, again, I was under the impression that most of the interior was original. I can't, because I'm not an expert, I can't tell you exactly what is and what isn't, um, but I would say that if I were to throw a percentage out there based on my experience and things that I've learned over the years, I would probably say that 75% of this interior is original. There's no doubt in my mind. I know the headliner is original. It was stated in here. The headliner is in beautiful condition. I know all the seat belts up here are original because they have all of the labels on them, which have dates on them and so forth. There is a little, little tear in the headliner that we put a patch over. We kind of blended it so you don't really see it. But uh, the dash pad uh, was original. We replaced it because it just didn't look good anymore. We did a nice job with that. Um, all of the gauges were original. We did replace a few of the fascias on this, like on this clock as an example, that is functioning by the way. Um, so we did do a little bit of cosmetic stuff at MS Classic Cars. The kicker panels as an example, we took care of those. They had some speakers in there that were aftermarket that were installed years ago. We took care of uh, putting those back to the, to the original style. We also um, added a new steering wheel. The steering wheel that was on this car was 100% original to the car. Um, it had cracks, it was doing this and doing that, so we put on a new steering wheel. This was very expensive because we had to find the right color, then of course we had to add everything and it was kind of a chore, um, but we did think it just added a lot of character to the interior. The rug was replaced many years ago, as the ownership history indicates. Um, they actually made a note that they had saved some tag off the rug. We, we didn't see that tag. If we did, we threw it away by accident. But regardless, we replaced the rug anyway. I also added these custom Z28 black floor mats just to kind of make the interior pop a little bit. Um, so again, you can reference our invoice of all the work that we did to this car. It will clearly document to you everything that we did. But again, I think, I think these door panels are original. I think these seats are original. Um, I think the console's original. I think a lot of the gauges, a lot of the instrumentation. Uh, I, I just think a lot of this car is original in the interior. It's in beautiful condition. Uh, I'm not going to go on record and say it's perfect by any means, but it's in super nice condition. Talking about the engine compartment, uh, as the photos in this video uh, indicate, the engine compartment is in beautiful condition. We at MS Classic Cars, besides fully servicing the car and going through everything mechanically, we did not pull the engine out and go to that level. What we did is we, we gave it kind of a, a fluff and buff, if you will. We, we pretty much just took some of the components that were in there, we painted them, we kind of blended some things, we basically took things off, put them back on. We did a little bit of a light restoration to the engine compartment, I would say super, super light on top of all the service work to bring it to the level that you see today. I'm not gonna go on record and say, you know, uh, that it's done to the highest, highest level, but I will go on record and say that it's most, uh, it's nice, nicer than most. I think that's a fair assessment of the engine. There is a lot of correct parts. Before I forget, regarding the parts, now that we're on the engine compartment, um, the previous owners, which uh, I was really proud to see, took the time, which a lot of people don't. Uh, I don't even take this kind of time when I list vehicles for sale because we just don't have the time to do all the homework and research on every part. 
But what they did is they actually made this album here of all the pictures of the VIN tag, cowl tag, uh, VIN stamping on right cowl. That's the other thing that a lot of people don't know about 69 Camaros is they have another VIN number that's hidden. It's on the cowl, it's on the passenger side, little tricks of the trade. There's pictures of that here showing that that number is still on the cowl. Very hard to find that a lot of times with these 69 Camaros. It also shows here the engine casting number pictures. It shows the dates. It shows the engine pad. It shows the engine block. It shows all of this information that, again, we're, we're, we're including in our photo gallery. It shows the heads with the valve covers off. It shows the dates uh, of both of the heads. It shows the carburetor. It shows the correct winter's intake. It shows the distributor numbers. It gets into the exhaust manifolds, the starter, the steering box, the fan clutch. Uh, it just goes on and on. The water pump, the crankshaft, the, the transmission, the casting numbers, the tag, the bell housing, the, the, the rear axle casting, the rear axle numbers and a breakdown of them, the housing. Uh, it even goes into the wheels. The wheels on this car are all dated. I mean, as an example, it says here, rally wheels, AD equals 15 by eight, pre-January 1969, K18, K is uh, Kelsey Hayes, one is Chevrolet, eight is 68, and then it's 89 is August 9th, because again, this car was built earlier, and it was obviously sold, as I mentioned earlier, at the beginning of uh, 1969. So everything on this car was gone through and date coded and verified again because the car was extremely original. So enough about that. Uh, again, the transmission of this car is the original matching numbers transmission. The rear end, as we indicated just a minute ago with all the stuff I just showed you, it has the original matching numbers drivetrain. When you look at the trunk compartment. The trunk compartment is in beautiful condition. They sprayed it all with the correct style uh, trunk spray. There's a, a, a bias ply tire back there as a spare. Nice job with all of that. Now here's where it gets a little fun. When we got this car, uh, again, uh, it, it was like finding a needle in a haystack. It was advertised on a website that uh, isn't a commonly viewed website. Uh, I couldn't believe when I saw the car for sale that I was actually looking at what it was and everything that I've gone over here with you today. So I immediately purchased the vehicle. And when I got it, uh, again, I had to make that decision. Do I leave it the way it is or do I take it to the next level? The gentleman who I bought the car from, uh, him and I have become friends. He was really proud that I was going to take the car to the next level and spend all the money on it that we did to turn it into the diamond that you see here today. So most of the work that we did was with the undercarriage. We literally took everything off. The suspension was off, the wheels were off, the brakes were off, the exhaust was off. This has got a chambered exhaust too. This is why in this video, it's gonna sound as aggressive as it does because it has a chambered exhaust. Those are awesome exhaust systems. We took that off. We took the fuel tank down. We took, the, we took everything off so this car was literally like this binder on the backside. There was nothing there. And what we did is we stripped parts, we painted parts, we powder coated parts, and we put everything back. We used Jerry McNeish's book to, to paint things as correctly as what we could. For the things that we didn't do, we referenced what the car had before with previous pictures. We put stickers, we put chalk marks, we put tags. Again, I'm not gonna go on record and say that this car is ready to be judged tomorrow and everything is gonna you know, be perfect and it's gonna score super high, but we definitely took it to the next level. If the new owner chooses to uh, go through the car methodically, nut and bolt, and make sure everything is aligned properly, he or she can do so. Take it to the American Camaro Association uh, Nationals and get the car judged, and who knows, maybe eventually uh, take it to the Legends event and so forth. Uh, so. I think I pretty much covered as much as the car as I possibly could. As I mentioned earlier, there's going to be some things that I forgot. Visit msclassiccars.com for a complete description. There is tons of photos there as well. 
If you have not signed up for our VIP email blast, please do that. We have thousands of people on our email blast that get notifications when we list new vehicles for sale. If you have not followed us on social media, please do that as well. We're on all the social media that you can think of, really quick and easy. We appreciate you watching this video. We appreciate your interest. This is a super car, and remember to watch the driving video as well. I'm gonna go ahead and start this car right now for you. I'm gonna show you how nice it runs. Something that we normally don't do at MS Classic Cars, I normally take the cars outside we normally warm them up outside for a minute or two. We back them into the showroom. So when I start them for this video, I just turn the key, they fire right up and we show people how great they run. In this particular situation, I thought it would be a great idea since you're gonna see the car start in the driving video and you're gonna witness how great it runs. I thought what I would do is start this car cold. For anybody who knows these Camaro Z28s, especially when they have the original style carburetors and so forth, they can be a little bit hard to start, a little bit temperamental. So this car has not run in probably about two weeks, uh, somewhere around one and a half to two weeks. Um, this is a ice cold start here today. So I'm gonna go ahead and pump the gas pedal a few times. I don't know if it's gonna start instantly. If it doesn't, I'll shut the key off. Sometimes you just gotta prime the carburetor, start it again, and it will fire up. But I just wanted to demonstrate uh, how we do that here today. So let's go ahead and start her up. Let her rip, potato chip. Look at that, ice cold. Hey, my foot's off the gas, look at this. Foot is off the gas. All the credit to my guys in service at MS Classic Cars. Uh, Mike Marcello worked on this car with Wayne Arnold. And I gotta tell you something, there is no word of a lie that was a cold start. I have not started this car in almost two weeks. You can't make that up. Matter of fact, I'll shut the car off. Notice how there's no detonation or anything. Again, ice, ice cold start, turn the key. Fires right up. Awesome. I'm not gonna go ahead and rev it yet because the motor's cold, but I'll tell you what, it runs absolutely beautiful. Thanks again for watching.